Thousand dollar plates, fine china. Shorty like it. Mm. Shorty like it. Shorty like a thousand dollar plate, fine china Tell her that she beautiful every day, I remind her Hey guys, welcome back to my channel It's your girl Tiny, back with another video, okay? And as you can see, my mother is in this video this time So that means clearly that I'm about to do her makeup So hey, say hey Hey Say how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> so yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and press that bell notification and yeah so without further ado let's get into the video okay okay So first I'm going to start off with her brows and I'm going to use the Absolute New York Brow Pencil in the shade uh, Smoke and this is how it looks, it's like precision. So yeah, I'm going to do her brows and I'm going to like zoom in when I edit the video. And I'm doing my mama just makeup based on how I do it and every time like how she like her face. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh, okay. Now I'm going to clean it up. I'm only doing one brow on camera because it's going to take forever by doing both on camera. So I'm going to clean up one. And then do the other one off camera and just clean it. And then yeah. The LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Form. And I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics number 8 brush. Oh, you must have forgot you made me that way. You made me this way. I tried to be the bigger person and forgive you for making try, me try, feel so worthless. But I can't help to want to see you in pain. So now I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics number 7 brush. It's like a um, eyeshadow brush, but I use it to blend out the concealer. Do what you want to do for love. Do for love. She got like this weird undertone. She got like this weird undertone as me. She's just more neutral. So I'm going to use this. This foundation is a Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Honey. And I have to mix it with another foundation because it's not her exact undertone. But I'm going to use this to cover out the top of her brow. So I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. Drop it to me. And I like to use foundation on the top so that it avoids flashback. Okay? So I did one eye of camera. It's a shimmery, it's like a glamorous, you know, whatever. Alright, so I'm going to I use the elf palette, the elf rose gold sunset palette. This shade, this shade, and this shade right here. As the the crease shade and all of that. And I'm gonna take my Morphe my Morphe M505 brush. So this is the first shade that I showed y'all was even on her outer corner. 
not blending or buffing anything yet, just tapping the color in. And now I'm gonna just take that color and buff it out man. before I add okay, the next please. color on top. And as you can see, I'm raising her eyebrow up a little bit so that it can be better. She ain't got much lyrics for this one. Shut up. <laughs> we gonna work with what we got. Big face. All right, so now I'm going to take that little deeper shade. Yeah, I'm trying to come for me, right? I'm going to take the deeper shade, which is right here. It's a little bit darker than that one to help define her crease. On the same Morphe M505 brush. Put it on her outer corner as well. And the same thing. I'm not going to take it all in, in a part of her crease, on the middle part of her crease and the outer corner. That's it. And now I'm going to take a pencil brush. This is a Lee My Casa E310 brush, and it looks just like this. And I'm gonna take this deeper shade. These shades don't got names, but yeah, I'm gonna take this deeper shade right here, and and help carve out <laughs> and help like define where I want her um shape, the shade to be, the shimmer. So pack it on the cord as well, and then just stamp where I want it in the crease. And I didn't use a lot of that shade because I don't want it to be too dark and look like she got a uh, black eye. No. <laughs> I took the back of the <laughs> No. I'm dead. Yeah. And then build up the cut crease. I just want them to look up to make sure that they could see the shadow when they look up. And she got like cut her eyes a little bit, like me. So I gotta overdo her, like put her crease higher than what it is so that when she look up, people will still see, like over her eyes, people will still see her eye shadow. I'm gonna take my Juvia's Place Masquerade Pad, this white shimmery shade. It's a shimmery white shade. Okay. And I'm gonna tack it on in the inner part of her, eye, her eyelid. Jacqueline Hill Morphe palette and I'm going to use the shade what shade is this I'm going to use the shade faint and sissy that's what it's called which is these two pink shades And then now I'm going to take this gold shade called Queen. I'm going to take this gold shade called Queen and pop it on the outer part of her lid. And a little bit in the middle. Now I'm gonna take my e.l.f. black um, eyeliner and line her um, lash line because we're gonna put lashes and mascara on all that good stuff. Alright, and now I'm 
gonna take this is I think my Maybelline I think it's a Maybelline mascara or L'Oreal it's a cute face it's not the name is like rubbed off and I'm just gonna put mascara yeah. on her lashes in case her lashes is long they're gonna get these lashes from AliExpress and as you can see it's one of her we're going to put that in my hair and I'm going to let the get tacky or whatever apply this and then I'm going to come back okay so LA girl pro concealer in the shade fawn and put it under her eyes because she have um dark circles and you know we want to cancel that <laughs> we don't get no sleep in this house so we had to cancel we got to cancel it out so i'm gonna take the same bh cosmetics number seven brush that i used to blend out her conceal on her eyebrows i'm gonna give that to blend out her under her and that's what i did on that Got a color correction method, we just need a good concealer base under her eyes and then put some foundation on the day. So, you don't know nobody, Deja. We got dry oily stuff, huh? Dry oily stuff. I don't know oily stuff. We got a combination skin, I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna use my Hangover RX primer because it's like a hygiene primer. Come. And I'm going to just rub this in everywhere. Yeah, I'm going to let that get tacky a little bit. In the meantime, I'm going to mix the foundation on that face. So like I said from earlier, I'm using the Bonus Too Faced um, Bonus Face. I, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm using the Too Faced Bonus Face Foundation in Shea Honey. Because it's, it's neutral. And I'm going to mix it with my um maybelline superstay foundation in the shade warm sun because they have like that golden yellowish undertone that she also has oh, <laughs> i'm using the bh cosmetics number two brush it's a foundation brush and i'm using it to buff it in Take my ColourPop No Filter um, concealer in the shade Dark Forty Two. Put it in her eyes, okay?
LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Pure Beige to help, like, not give it a brighten effect, but, like, you know, bring some color and life to her face. I'm gonna use the sponge to blend out, not a brush. I'm gonna let it sit for a little while too. Because when you let your concealer sit, it blends out better. use the color pop sand powder but it's like i'm running out so i'm gonna use the sasha i like to use this one now though i'm gonna use the sasha buttercup sand powder in the shade buttercup obviously before i put that up then i'm gonna I'm not gonna, I don't powder the whole face because that's that's when your makeup starts to feel like powdery and all of that. But now I'm gonna take the um with my brush though. I'm gonna take my Morphe M505 brush and do her lower lash line. Take my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit <laughs> and I'm gonna use the shade. I'm gonna use the shade Earth and Cinnamon. This blush palette and basically mix smile. <laughs> <laughs> studio fix brush. We use the Anne Reezy and the Saucy Revolution. Pour it in on her nose highlight. Okay. Line her lips because she ain't got no lips. Stop coming for me. <laughs>